Hey Virgo, and welcome. We're here for your weekend bonus. So we're just going to jump right in. So, God, you are the angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. <clears throat> Please give me some clear and concise messages for the sign of Virgo. What messages do we have for Virgo? For the weekend bonus. Thinking about what you've done, or thinking about the past, thinking about what you've done, what you've invested your time in, what you've invested your energy in, it, and closing the damn cycle. It's no good for you anyway, is what I'm hearing. It could be a relationship that you're closing or cycle of, a relationship that has done nothing but deceive you. Okay, you're manifesting something new, some, something new for yourself. You're manifesting yourself out of the heartbreak. Could be dealing with um, you could be this Queen of Pentacles, or you could be dealing with another Earth sign. Okay, but there's some type of communication about a choice that you're making. Five of Wands, competition, drama, ego. About this Ace of Wands, your destined path, having your wishes fulfilled. So you're retreating from ego, Virgo. You're putting your ego down in order to, 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 to face a path. Ace of Wands, a path that you feel like is destined for you. So the Nine of Cups says that it's going to fulfill your wishes. For four swords says you're retreating, but above that is the Five of Wands. You're retreating from ego because you see the victory that can be had here. You're ready to stand up and fight for it and offer something stable here. Okay. So tell me about this five of wands here. I feel like it's ego in this scenario. Could be drama. Could be other people's opinions. Let's just see. Tell me about the five of wands for Virgo. Tell me about this five of wands right here for Virgo. I can't keep all that. Tell me about the five of wands for Virgo. Somebody's single and abundant, and Virgo wants to offer love, or Virgo's becoming single and abundant to offer love. So, but, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Virgo, sees the potential, okay. So, Virgo, you see the potential, you're putting your ego down here, because you see the potential that there is, is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio woman out there that can fulfill you emotionally. But you see... Yeah, it's the Pisces with the moon. Deep emotions here. You don't know where it can go. But you see, you gain a perspective here. Or maybe you was listening to somebody's opinion about this person. But you see the potential of this being completely different than what somebody said. Something about this Five of Wands for Virgo. Oh. No, it's ego. The sun came out with the five of wands. That's ego. You see the potential that the reason that you, this person is left, okay? Or this person is... What made me say they left? Five of wands. This drama is conflict. You had deep introspection about this Scorpio Cancer Pisces woman, but I feel like it's a Pisces. You see the potential. You gain the perspective. You see the you see the potential that you can be emotionally fulfilled here. You gain the perspective that you're emotionally fulfilled. But the reason that you were having a hard time, the reason there's drama, the reason it's conflict and chaos instead of happiness is because your ego is in the way. So you're deciding to put your ego down because you see the potential that you can balance this if you just put your ego down. Ace of Wands. See, look, the Emperor. He leading without the ego. The Emperor is going in. He offering love. Okay. Talking about the Ace of Wands. He got to be offering it to the Empress if he's going in for the Ace of Wands. Talking about the Ace of Wands. I 
just want to know how the hell did them cars disappear. Did anybody else see that? Oh. It was scary to say now. I know I ain't crazy. Alright. That's why. I told you it's got to be the Empress. It's got to be the Empress. And he poured a lot. Look at that. Mm, let's see. Virgo. You bored a lot obsessed a little bit. I ain't gonna say that because your Empress could be a, a Capricorn. How about this Devil card? How about the Devil? That's what you. Yeah, so you're walking. It's a Capricorn here that you're leaving behind. Walking away from emotionally in order to have justice with this Empress. To have a victory with this Empress. To have your your emotions, your wishes fulfilled with this Empress. You're closing a cycle in a collaboration with a Capricorn. To see something grow here. To, with an Empress. <laughs> Tell me about the Nine of Cups. The Virgo. You got you anxiety, Virgo. You got anxiety. Nine of Swords. You got the anxiety. You got the anxiety. You're going through an ending here or something. Two Nines. You got anxiety because you want to stand up and fight for this. You want to apologize and have a reconciliation to your divine feminine, the Empress. But somehow she's retreated. She see you as a burden. Or you want to put the burden down to her retreating. King and Queen of Wands. In a higher level of commitment with the Hierophant. So let me tell me about maybe you want to heal. Four of Swords could also be healing. Tell me about the Four of Swords here for Virgo. Talk about the four of swords. The Virgo. The four of swords. Yeah, the emperor hand got to. You sure did. I sure did grab him. I ain't sure did grab him. Somebody wants to heal. They're confused. But they're taking charge to end. They're, somebody is at a crossroads, but they're putting the burdens down. They made the decision. King of wands, queen of wands. They want to heal it. Seven of Swords here. They're not speaking on it, though. Five, something about the Seven of Swords. This is the Emperor taking charge of something. What's the Seven of Swords and this Five of Pentacles here? Look, somebody's going into a lover's connection. To the Empress and the Emperor. And the Emperor's got to chase down the Empress. In order to put the work into her. Hopefully she'll move forward after they bring the honesty about a collaboration with the Capricorn or Queen of Pentacles here. Yo, your ex, your, your wife, your baby mama. The reason you was deceptive and left this Empress out in the cold here. And it took you so long, but I think you get it now. And you don't want to miss this opportunity. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Virgo. Six of Wands. Look, it's like your intuition is telling you. Yo, you got an into your intuition is pulling you here to head towards this person because you got a deep connection. You met this person before in the past. This is where you're supposed to be. You are the emperor. You're supposed to be going into union with the empress. Tell me about the, the um, four of wands for Virgo. Tell me about the yep communicating that I want I want to move forward in the union, and I'm going to initiate it because I'm sure about what this is now. So I'm all for love. Somebody's gonna cut through the confusion and in the, in the collaboration. So that's what I got for you, Virgo, and I do hope it helped. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in your next video. Namaste.